Hey Rose. Yeah. What's happening this month? St. Patrick's Day. Damn right it is. This is our entry for the Drunken Shamrock 2022 challenge. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and I'm a whiskey nerd. I'm Rose and I'm a whiskey noob. And like I said, this is our entry to the Drunken Shamrock 2022 challenge. We're going to be making an Irish apple tea. Woo! I love apple teas! Yeah. Like you guys don't understand. Most time, I don't know what we're doing until I show up. So this is legitimately a surprise for me. <laughs> yeah, so it's an Irish apple tea. So the rules of this cocktail challenge are very simple. It just, the cocktail has to be green. You have to use Irish ingredients or have an Irish themed garnish and you have to use the hashtag Drunken Shamrock 2022. So I'm leaving it to those Irish ingredients because I'm using Hutchian, which is basically like an unaged whiskey that's an Irish spirit. I'll be using an Irish sour apple liqueur. I'll be using Irish apple juice. Lemon juice that may not be from Ireland. <laughs> You mean Irish lemons are in Dubai? We can't really grow lemons here. And a bit of sugar syrup. Now, Matthew, I think you need to be honest with everyone when you say poutine. What is poutine? Poutine is... Describe it in a way everyone will understand. It's a whiskey that hasn't been It's aged. moonshine. It's basically... It's moonshine. It's, so it's about 50% ABV. It actually does have lots of nice floral notes. It does have nice sweetness to it. Yes, yes. So it's going to be... It's almost sometimes, I think kind of like a cross between a gin and a vodka. Oh, so vodka yeah. has this kind of clean taste. Yeah. Gin has this very like oily, botanical taste of that. So it has a nice clean profile, Yeah. but it doesn't have those herbal notes that a, that a gin would have. Instead, it has more like the grain sweetness, maybe like green grass, that kind of nice freshness. So it's yeah. a, it's it does have nice flavors to it, but it is moonshine <laughs> with nice flavors. Yeah. Yeah, so there are like loads of different recipes for an apple teeny on the internet. Mm. Like most uh, alternate teenies, there are loads of different recipes, loads of different ways people will make it to make it their own way. Like Mickey Finn's, their recipe for it calls for one part of this uh, sour apple liqueur and two parts vodka, which can be very strong and very sweet. Mm. I've seen other ones call for no sour apple liqueur. Instead, they go more into the apple juice. They use the lime to get that sourness. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna be kind of threading the line between the two. I'll be using some of the sour apple liqueur, but also some of, uh, of the apple juice. Oh, maybe to yeah. even it out to a little bit? kind of even things out of it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I think we'll just crack on with it. So yeah. we're gonna go for a shaker tin drink. And we're gonna pop a nice rock of ice into there. And then we're gonna measure in two ounces of our putchin. Like if you wanted to, if you couldn't get your hands on putchin, you could use vodka for this. Mm. Uh, it's just kind of a clear, nice, neutral spirit. That's gonna give it's you- a nice, a... clean spirit. Yeah, because you do want to taste the apples in there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Putchin, I think, goes really well because, oh, smell that. It Ooh, does have yeah. those kind of floral notes. I think it has those kind of green, fresh notes that will go well with the apple. Oh yeah, that's gonna pair really nicely. Yeah. So we're gonna go in with one ounce then of our Mickey Finn's Apple liqueur. This is an Irish brand. You might not be able to get it, but there are, like I said, loads of different brands yeah. of sour apple liqueur. It's literally cracking. Wait, is that cracking or crackling? It says uh, crack, uh, cracking Irish apple. So it's cracking good. <laughs> cracking good, yes. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go with one ounce of that. Then we're gonna go in with one ounce of our apple juice. Yeah, so it's nice. It's gonna kind of balance out that uh, sourness from the Mickey Finn's. It's gonna just balance it out nicely. And then to make sure we've got a nice continued balance of sour and sweet, we're gonna go in with half an ounce of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, and half an ounce of sugar syrup. Ah! You made your own sugar syrup again. You made my own sugar syrup, yeah. <laughs> And then I think we're just gonna shake it up for about 20, 30 seconds, get it nice and cold, and then uh, straight it out. Okay. Okay, I think that's nicely chilled. Yeah. So we're gonna straighten this out into a martini glass. I mean, it is an apple TV. It's a bit green. green. Yeah. Well, this has a lot of uh, color in it there. You mean it's not naturally that green? It might not be naturally that green. So we're gonna get our strainer, pop it out. <gasps> oh, that's green. Yeah. I want this. And then for a garnish, before you drink it, we're just gonna pop a nice little fan of apples Ooh. and avocado, maraschino cherry. Getting really fancy with these garnishes. Just so. so do you want to give it a taste? Yes. So I think you got to take that garnish. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, success. Success. It's a snack for later. It will be. Okay, 
Dang, that's nice. Okay. You get, um... <laughs> can I have some? <laughs> you can kind of get a nice little taste of the mm. puchin that's in there. Yeah. Um, I can taste the lemon. You can taste some of the sour, um, sugar syrup. Like, you get bits of all of this yeah. for sure. And it all kind of melds really nicely together. I do kind of like that you can taste some of this because it's not like overpowering yeah. or strong. Yeah, it kind of gives you that grain sweetness. Like I was saying, a bit of kind of floral, grassy note coming through. Yeah. And then it's balanced out with the sour apple and the kind of regular sweet apple and then the lemon juice and of course the sugar syrup. So it's a nice kind of balance, a nice way of changing up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Also, it's so green. It's so green, yeah. So that's our entry to the Drunken Shamrock 2022 challenge for St. Patrick's Day. Let us know in the comments what you'll be drinking this St. Patrick's Day. And if you want to see more cool recipes like this, check out that hashtag Drunken Shamrock 2022. You'll see other YouTube bartenders making their own creations for St. Patrick's Day. If you want to see more from us, we put out cocktail recipes every Friday and whiskey reviews every Wednesday. So subscribe, you'll see them all. And until next time, let's launch it. Bye bye.